Here's something that some builders don't even have a clue about, and that is larger hold downs. These are large metal brackets that are building hardware, and they are actually used in areas where there are earthquakes. California, I've seen them all. That's where I'm from. I've seen them come in all different shapes and sizes, and I've seen them evolve into these what you're looking at here where they don't have bolts they actually have some type of lag screw that uh, screws into the 4x4 or um, post whatever you're, you're using this was actually the first time i seen two 2x4s nailed together and actually get used as um, hold down posts um, were when these things came out other other than that they were all 4x4s or larger now here's the part that most builders seem to, I shouldn't say most, let's just say some builders. I have ran into a lot of builders that just look at the plans and build. Um, and if it's on the plans, they just go ahead and do it anyway. But this is a problem that these people are going to run into. And that is the fact that for these HDs, the hold downs, um, the larger ones will require minimum sized posts they will provide you with a minimum post size so if you have an HD 12 let's say on a 4x4 which which it looks like according to their calculations you're allowed to do um, you, it's only going to provide you with a certain type of deflection or for the engineering calculations the lateral uh, movement of the wall um, larger posts will provide you with um, more deflection or you know to, to put it in layman's terms and I'm not even going to say layman's terms because some of this stuff I don't really understand a hundred percent the larger the post um, and the larger the hold down um, was, so let's just say that you have a HD 12 on a you have an HD 12 on a 4x4 post then the allowable tension load looks like it's about 11,350. Um, that's a, that's a, that'd be a 4x4. Four four. Now, if you take that to a 6x6, six six, you have 14,220. Um, and again, they have other calculations here um, for this stuff. Uh, you know, again, I, do I really know what this stuff means? Not really. But you can make some sense out of this. If you're going to drill a one-inch hole, through a 4x4 four four post this isn't going to leave you a lot of meat on either end of the post and that's drilling it right through the center if you don't drill that baby right through the center you're even creating a bigger problem now on a 6x6 six six, you're going to have even more room an 8x8 eight eight, obviously even more room um, now there is one thing I'd like to point out too and I probably pointed this out in a couple of my other videos is that let's not forget that uh, no matter how big the post is that uh, if there's enough pressure these posts will actually just split in two and uh, really you're not going to be getting your uh, getting the uh, your money's worth there and I believe that's why they came out with the hold downs that use the lag screws is to prevent that but don't forget also that those screws um, can create small um, splits in the um, wood also and pre-drilling holes getting into that I don't want to get into that um, but the main thing is here is if reason why I made the video is just to provide you builders or do-it-yourselfers with a little information if you're going to put a hold down on a post you're going to be building a room addition or a house make sure that you check the manufacturer's recommended specifications uh, before you end up getting in trouble by installing the wrong post